Hey everybody, so welcome back to Jim Bob's Garden. So today I wanted to show you a couple things. One, I wanted to show you that even ugly plants make fruit. So if you look at this plant, I mean it's looking pretty rough. All right, and I kind of let it go this way a bit just so I could kind of show this to you, to be honest. But you'll see down here, I've got tomatoes hanging here. I've got a ripe one over here. As you can see, i got more tomatoes there. Got a nice big fat one right there. All right, so your plants don't have to be perfect, like I said in another video here recently, to make fruit. All right, but I do want to show you how to go about cleaning this up. So obviously there's some work that needs to be done. And so first off, what we want to do is get rid of all the dead stuff. So we're going to start cutting some stuff back. All right, and I think that is dead all the way down to here so we're going to cut that one back to there but you know the, the thing is you know everybody's like really freaking out about when you know my plant has got this my plant's got that and you really just don't need to worry about it that much guys i'm, I'm telling you that yeah sometimes they get ugly like this is pretty normal from my experience and it happens to me all the time now you know, people will tell you, well, you need to do this, and you need to do that. And you got to add some of this, and you got to add some of that. And what you need is neem oil and, and this, and a little bit of BT and some other stuff. And yeah, okay, it might help, or it might not. But I have found that if you just go through and kind of clean stuff up, and then start looking at things like this. So right here, these leaves have got some spots on them. So those are probably going to need to be cleaned up, and if I don't have any actual tomatoes on that stem, we can cut that up and get rid of it. Now here, I got another plant, or another leaf that's looking a little rough. Actually that whole thing, so we're just going to chop that back, and just going to start trimming up. A lot of times the dead stuff will fall off. Now another thing, you know, a lot of this can be caused by something called bacterial wilt. All right, where basically you get some bacteria on there and it starts to make them things look ugly and you know a lot of people will tell you well you need to you know spray something on there to kill off that that fungus well i mean i don't know i mean so far it has been my experience that you know you keep things trimmed back and as you run into problems deal with the problems and oftentimes it'll it'll be okay all right, so I just go through, I look at what's rough, what's looking bad, I cut that back. Um, and then another thing people will tell you is you got to make sure that you get rid of anything that might have some spots on it. Well, you don't have to. I'm going to go ahead and take that tomato too. I'll sit it right there for now. But if you just go ahead and clean it up, let me get this cleaned up. I'll show you where we go from there. Right, like that whole vine there just doesn't do anything, so we're gonna cut that back, knock that off. Um, but perfection is not necessary. It is basically nature. All right, imperfection is part of nature. We are imperfect, and you probably have all kinds of different viruses flowing through your system right now various little issues and problems that are going on in your life and we're not going to dispose of you because of that well you might infect the neighborhood oh no that's not the way it works hopefully that'd be pretty rough if it was well, this whole branch is doing nothing now we'll say like on something like this you know it might be trying to produce more or uh, driving um nutrients and such up into that vine and so by cutting that back, we probably can improve the whole plant. All right. So that's something to think about when you find a vine that's looking pretty rough. Um, sometimes if you cut a whole bunch back, and then see like right here, if you look at this, I've got flower stalks but no flowers, so we're just going to cut that whole thing off so that it doesn't continue to support that. And this one, I'm going to cut this off here. I'm going to try. 
run that up to the point that it actually hangs over up here somewhere. There we go. And you can see I got a couple new tomatoes growing there. All right, so let's get some of this in here trimmed back. Now you gotta you want to pay attention though where your vine goes. <laughs> Because if you're going to snip the wrong vine, then you take down more than you want it to. But it's a tomato. It'll grow back. All right. These are very versatile and, in my experience, pretty tough plants. All right. So I don't worry too much about cutting things back a bit. You know, where necessary. But, I mean, if you got tomatoes growing on the vine, I hate to see it you know, chopped off for no good reason. take out the ones that have got spots on them and then one of the issues is I haven't watered this as much here recently I've had family over and such so I haven't really paid attention to this plant as much as I should have and that will happen you're gonna have real life intrude which is very very normal don't worry about it too much Oh, hang on. Do I, I don't want to cut that, do I? Ooh, almost cut it. i right, jack that up. Let's see. All right, let's see here. Cut some of this off. Uh, cut that one off. And I do like my little scissors. A good pair of a small, sharp scissors is excellent for doing this because you get to places that are narrow and small. Oh, they just come off anyway. So, oh, yeah, that one's done. When they get real soft like that, still on the vine, they're pretty much done. You can just get rid of that. It's never really going to be any good. Um, I think that looks a whole lot better. What we're going to do is go in here and pull all the weeds out. Some of these are amaranth, but that's alright. I don't really want them growing in there. Go through and pull all the weeds out of your, out of your pot. And another thing I want to tell you about on this particular plant, this plant has always been inside of something. I had it in the greenhouse and now I've got it in here. And I, I really want to talk about that mostly because I want you to understand that um, Tomatoes don't need pollination. Look at what that one. Oh, that's a sweet potato. That is very interesting. I'm not sure how a sweet potato got in there. But that's actually a potato, a sweet potato slip right there. So when you get these growths coming off the side and they actually develop roots, I can take that, snap it off, and plant that in the garden and it will grow. So I'll probably stick that in some dirt here a little bit later. I wonder what that was. But yeah, so potatoes don't need to be pollinated. Or potatoes. Tomatoes don't need to be pollinated. Alright, so you just, you can grow them inside a, a shelter like this, where I've got screens all around, and they'll be just fine. I've grown in here for years now. I always keep one or two plants in here, just to... Uh, Just to have them close by and you know basically so I can you know show you that you can grow um, container tomatoes and if you have a screened in porch you get some sun if you got a balcony uh, even if it's a place where you don't get a lot of pollinators it's okay your tomatoes will grow just fine and a lot of things will grow in a situation like that all right All right, so there you go, nice and cleaned up. And you can see I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tomatoes growing on this vine, despite how ugly it looked previously. So I'll get some uh, compost, I'll fill this up uh, to the top with some compost, and then I'll add some more water to it, and voila, we're back in business, all right? So don't give up on your ugly plants, and don't think that you have to have perfect plants to be able to get a harvest. 
you don't need either all right ugly plants will oftentimes grow just fine um, now I it does help to go ahead and snip back the uh, the dead stuff because oftentimes that wants to create more dead stuff all right and then the semi dead stuff is good to cut back because if the plant stops putting energy into um, trying to keep alive leaves that are um, dying then it's it's going to not have as much energy to go into the other parts of the plant that are doing better all right so that's what i got going on today just a quick video on how i trim my uh, trim out my uh, tomatoes when they're looking ugly and to let you know that hey even ugly plants need a little love <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Do me a favor, give me a like and a subscribe and let me know what you think. But most importantly, grow something like tomatoes on your patio. All right, y'all come back and see me.